All right, I'm meteorologist Alexandra Cranford at WWL Louisiana, just getting you a little bit more uh, detailed update on what's happening in the tropics, just as we start to see things get a little bit more active. For sure, the big thing today on this Saturday is that hurricane barrel has formed. It was a tropical storm as of Saturday afternoon. It has been upgraded to a hurricane. It's fairly small. Tropical storm force winds extending about 50 miles away, away from its center. It does have these high clouds tops which have developed its winds estimated around 75 miles per hour but actually tomorrow on Sunday uh, Hurricane Hunter aircraft are expected to investigate further and we'll have probably some pretty good information coming in as right now we're really just looking at the satellite images and things right now it's moving west at 22 miles per hour so it's moving pretty fast and it is expected to ride just south of a ridge of high pressure which will keep it on this very westward track into the Caribbean Sea but first of course it will cross over some of the lesser Antilles and that may happen late Sunday into Monday by that point, it may already be our first major hurricane of the season, as it is really expected in this general area not to have anything to hinder its intensification. So it may strengthen pretty quickly to Category 2, and then indeed to Category 3, we will see. But it could be a pretty serious strong storm with high winds, surge, and rain for some of these uh, southern Lesser Antilles. Then it continues across the Western Caribbean or eventually gets into the Western Caribbean Sea. Note that right now the intensity forecast is for it to come down a little bit in strength due to some wind shear in the Caribbean. So that would be a good thing. You can see that right now the timeline goes out until Thursday, and this may be when it's somewhere around Category 1 status, maybe close to Yucatan, somewhere near Cuba, Western Caribbean, and then in the following couple of days into next weekend, it may be somewhere around Yucatan or the Southern Gulf of Mexico. That's tentative as we know when you're five, seven days out with these tropical systems, which are right now in the Atlantic Ocean way out past the Caribbean. Of course, the uncertainty goes up the farther out in the forecast that you go. But this is just kind of a general first look at this hurricane barrel forecast. Notice here is the storm center and here is that increasing shear once it gets toward the central and western Caribbean. So that would be a good thing to make it stop strengthening and maybe even knock it back and make it a less strong hurricane by the end of the week as it nears and enters the Western Caribbean. Just to point out quickly, there are two other spots. We have Barrel, the Bee Storm, first hurricane of the season, but we also have another one following behind this wave coming off the coast of Africa. This one may develop, and in fact, it has a 70% chance of developing into a depression or storm in the next uh, week or so, and it will be right behind Barrel. I'll show you in a second. If it develops, it would get the name Chris if it does become a tropical storm. And we also have this one much closer to the Gulf of Mexico. It is over Yucatan. It will have a 50-50 shot the National Hurricane Center gives it right now as it moves into Mexico to become briefly a depression or storm. So we will see. After that, the name is Debbie on the list after Barrel Chris, and then it goes to Debbie. So let's just take a look at one model. This is just uh, take it with a grain of salt, especially the farther out in time we go. That was the system moving into Mexico. I'll pause it here Thursday. We may have two different systems, potentially maybe Barrel and then also perhaps Chris if it does uh, develop into Chris, that wave out behind Barrel in the Caribbean Sea by that point. Both of these at this point look like they may be somewhat small systems. We will see if the shear is weakening barrel by this point. But just to give you a quick glance, and again, this is very uncertain this far out in time with these tropical systems. But just a glance at next weekend, so this is Sunday, a week from tomorrow, we may see this system maybe in the southern Gulf of Mexico and maybe that other one following behind somewhere in the Western Caribbean, potentially. So we will see really what we have going, though, over our part part of the Gulf Coast and this part of the US is a big high pressure area. So we have zero impacts really coming. I mean, for many days, it looks like this high will be there all the way through the week, maybe weakening a little shifting off to the east a little bit. And we will see about next week. And it's still a little early to say some models have it kind of weakening a bit, which might potentially bring 
we will see. Again, this is all very tentative, but could kind of draw it farther north, uh, barrel a little bit possibly into the southern Gulf, but way too early to get all of this as there's so many moving parts that all need to kind of come into sync and need to get a bit closer in time to iron it all out. For now, we have barrel way out there. For the Lesser Antilles, rain, high wind, and surge are likely tomorrow night into Monday, at least for some parts of the Lesser Antilles on the southern end. For the Gulf Coast, where we are, short term, no impacts. We're going to have a hot week ahead, hot 4th of July, and the main thing on Sunday for us is an excessive heat warning. So not a big chance for rain, although we do have a daily kind of regular thunderstorm rain chance this week. Gulf Coast long term, this is just something we're going to watch for sure. We will certainly keep you updated. It looks like again, just to repeat, it may reach barrel may reach the southern Gulf maybe next weekend. Still so much uncertainty though, so impossible to say for sure where this will end up, but it's something we will watch and we will also watch that next system out behind it as well as we are certainly seeing some activity increasing out in the Atlantic Basin at this point at the very end of June in hurricane season 2024. That's what we have right now for you. We'll have more coming up on WWL Louisiana News at 10 and of course a lot more through the weekend and into the work week. Thank <laughs> you.